The ongoing rivalry between iPhone and Samsung has been reignited with the launch of Apple's iPhone 15 series. Both top-of-the-line devices, the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra offer high-end features. So you may wonder which one is superior. Well, worry no more. We've tested both phones side by side for several days to crown a winner. As you'll see in the iPhone 15 Pro Max review, Apple's $1,199 flagship has a lot to offer, including a strong, lighter and more compact titanium design, a smart new action button and a blazing A17 Pro chip. Plus, there are several camera upgrades on board along with finally USB-C charging. On the other hand, our Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra offers a whopping 200 megapixel camera, dual telephoto zoom lenses, a great display and, if you want one, a built-in S Pen. So, which is the best phone overall? In this video, we will help you decide between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23. A winner will be crowned and help you pick the best flagship for your money. Both the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra are among the most expensive phones available. Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max has a starting price of $1,199 for 256 GB of storage. If you want more, you can spring for 512 GB for $1,399 and 1 TB for $1,599. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra arrived in February with a starting price of $1,199 for 256 GB of storage. You can upgrade to 512 GB for $1,379 or 1 TB of storage for $1,619. In this category, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the winner and more affordable than the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The iPhone 15 Pro Max starts with a distinct advantage with its new titanium design. This replaces the stainless steel band on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and it's both stronger and lighter than the aluminum on the S23 Ultra. Apple has also trimmed the bezels around the iPhone 15 Pro Max's display and the design is now contoured. The rounded edges feel comfortable to hold. Measuring 2796 by 1290 pixel resolution at 460 ppi and weighing 7.8 ounces, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is more compact and lighter than the S23 Ultra's 2340 by 1080 inches and 8.2 ounces. To be fair, the S23 Ultra has a slightly larger display and a built-in S Pen. Personally, I'm not a fan of the curved edges on the S23 Ultra's screen, which can sometimes result in accidental screen touches. But Samsung's punch hole in the display is certainly smaller than the Dynamic Island on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The curved edges on the S23 Ultra make the phone uncomfortable to hold, so the iPhone 15 Pro Max wins this round. The iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra both offer stellar OLED displays. The 6.7-inch panel on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a bit smaller than the 6.8-inch screen on the Galaxy S23 Ultra but they both offer vivid colors and a bright picture along with 120 hertz refresh rates. Side by side, I found the iPhone 15 Pro Max's screen a bit brighter overall. The Pro Max reaches 1,500 nits when displaying HDR content compared to 1,444 nits for the S23 Ultra. Indoors, the 15 Pro Max looked brighter, but in direct sunlight, Samsung's adaptive brightness had an edge. In terms of color reproduction, the Galaxy S23 Ultra turned in higher scores in both the sRGB test and DCI-P3 color space, but the iPhone 15 Pro Max's colors proved more accurate in our Delta E test, as you can see in the results. I love that Samsung gives you a choice between color profiles, but when viewing content, the iPhone 15 Pro Max's screen looked a bit better with higher contrast and dimension to subjects as in the above Barbie movie trailer. I think the Galaxy S23 Ultra has an advantage when it comes to viewing content in direct sunlight, so this category goes to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. When it comes to cameras, this is the department people care about. And both the iPhone 15 Pro Max 
and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra don't disappoint. The iPhone 15 Pro Max offers a 48 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a new 12 megapixel tetraprism zoom lens with 5 times optical zoom and 25 times digital zoom. The front camera retains 12 megapixels to give you nice portrait selfies. The biggest iPhone 15 Pro Max camera improvements other than zoom include the ability to take portraits without having to enter portrait mode, improved smart HDR for better colors and highlights, and a boosted night mode. In this photo, the Galaxy S23 Ultra produces the brighter, but it looks washed out. The iPhone 15 Pro Max delivers, sharpening the water coming from the fountain, and better detail in the fountain itself. In this portrait photo, the Galaxy S23 Ultra once again delivers a brighter shot and the face pops a bit more as Samsung's camera handles the shadows a bit better. To test the zoom of both phones, here is the side of a building. The stone figures are fairly sharp in both the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra, but I'd give a slight edge to the Pro Max in overall sharpness as I zoomed in. It also offers a warmer colour tone, which some may prefer. The tables turn here at 25 times digital zoom. This is the upper limit of what the iPhone 15 Pro Max can do, and there's a fair amount of noise in the shot. The S23 Ultra's picture is considerably sharper, especially in the lettering. Heading indoors, the iPhone 15 Pro Max renders with more realistic looking shadows, but the text on the barrels is more legible through the Samsung. This one is a toss-up for me. In night mode, both the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra shine. In this pic of harvest decorations, Samsung turns in the brightest pic overall. And I like that the straw and flowers look sharper. The iPhone 15 Pro Max's shot is good though, and the scarecrow in the middle has a more realistic orange. The iPhone 15 Pro Max narrowly takes this night mode comparison, shooting a volleyball in front of a pool. The ball itself is sharper and more vibrant versus the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The Galaxy S23 Ultra does a better job here, capturing yellow echinacea flowers along with some hay and a pumpkin. The flowers have more detail in the petals and the rest of the shot is in focus. The iPhone 15 Pro Max applies a bokeh to everything but the flowers, which adds a sense of depth, but I still prefer the Samsung pick. Once again, the Galaxy S23 Ultra wins with a close-up shot in this photo of a fruit tart. The colours do look more natural through the iPhone 15 Pro Max as Samsung tends to oversaturate things. In macro mode using the ultra wide cameras, both shots are mesmerising in their own way. The centre of the flower is sharper in the Samsung photo, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max's pic has a bit more depth to it. How about ultra wide photos? This shot is very close between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra. I like that the wood pile on in the water is brighter in the foreground in the iPhone pic, but the building off to the right is overly warm. The Samsung shot has a more even exposure, but less contrast. While both the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra are capable of shooting at 4K and 60fps, these clips are shot at 30fps in order to be able to use all of the zoom levels. Samsung only lets you change the zoom from 1x to 3x and 10x and beyond while you're shooting in 30fps mode. Overall, I prefer the iPhone 15 Pro Max's video clip because there's more contrast in the water and more gradation in the blue sky, and jumping between the zoom levels is much smoother than the jerkier Samsung S23 Ultra. However, once you get to 3x and 10x zoom, Samsung's footage looks more detailed. This round goes to the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra are both fast phones, but Apple has vaulted into the lead with its A17 Pro chip. This is the world's first 3nm processor for phones, which packs in even more transistors. In Geekbench, which measures overall performance, the iPhone 15 Pro Max cleared 2,700 and 6,900 on single core and multi core, while the Galaxy S23 Ultra was half as fast on single core and 34% slower on single core. This matchup was closer in graphics performance, as the iPhone 15 Pro Max notched 92 frames per second in 3D Mark Wildlife Unlimited versus 87 FPS for the Samsung.
but Apple extended its lead in our video editing test, needing only 24.5 seconds to transcode a 4K video to 1080p that's 15 seconds faster than the S23 Ultra, but the iPhone Pro Max takes this round beating the S23 Ultra in performance, especially the Pro Max runs console games, like Assassin's Creed which is still crazy to me that a phone can do that. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's biggest special feature is the S Pen, which is included and lets you take notes, sketch and perform fine photo edits. It can be a pretty valuable tool for productivity. Another handy feature is Mult Window, which enables you to run two applications on the screen at once. This comes in handy for multitasking. The One UI 5.1 software for Galaxy S23 Ultra offers several neat features. For example, with Bixby Text Call, Samsung's assistant can answer incoming calls for you and then you can pass on messages via speech to text or by voice typing. The iPhone 15 Pro Max arguably has better special features. For example, the new action button lets you assign any number of shortcuts to it, including muting calls but also launching the camera, flashlight, voice recorder and magnifier. And you can customize thousands of options via the Shortcuts app. Another unique feature the S23 Ultra can't match is Dynamic Island. This area displays live alerts and activities to save you time. For example, I can see my Uber Eats status at a glance while I'm using other apps or quickly change tracks on Apple Music. It's getting more useful as other developers catch on. There are lots of great features within iOS 17 too. Standby mode turns your iPhone into an alarm clock and mini smart display. And it's easier than ever to exchange contact info with NameDrop, though you need another iPhone running iOS 17 to do it. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is a clear winner when it comes to features, especially with the new iOS 17 update. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is simply one of the longest lasting phones tested. In the battery testing, which involves continuous web surfing and playing mobile games, the new iPhone Pro Max lasted a whopping 10 hours and 32 minutes. By comparison, the Galaxy S23 Ultra lasted 10 hours and 21 minutes with its display set to 60Hz mode and adaptive mode. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is adaptive by default and you can't change it. On the plus side, the Galaxy S23 Ultra charges faster via a 45W charger, getting to 57% in 30 minutes. The iPhone 15 Pro Max got to just 41% in the same amount of time with a 20 watt charger. We'll be performing additional testing to see how much faster the iPhone can get with a 30W charger. The iPhone 15 Pro Max slightly takes this one, but the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a fast charger to boost up the phone. The iPhone 15 Pro Max wins this very close contest as the best phone overall. It gives you a stunning display in a sturdier and lighter titanium design, and it offers both stronger performance and better battery life than the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. However, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is still an amazing phone, and it got a narrow victory in the camera round thanks to its brighter and sharper pics and more powerful zoom. The iPhone 15 Pro Max takes this very close contest, but the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra could certainly come out on top when it debuts. So that's it. I hope this video gave you a clear vision of which phone you would buy. Let me know in the comments down below which phone you think is better. Till next time, thanks for watching.